that's about the only testing I do on these. And um, then I look at the outside condition and make sure they're not all banged up or anything like that. And that's pretty much all you can do with them. I mean, unless they got it where you can really test them or they, they test them themselves. Some stores do that. They'll test the equipment themselves and everything. I did notice a light separation here uh, in the front, but nothing major. I made sure that it wasn't dropped, nothing like that. So I don't know what that can be, but um, I will mention it in the description and so forth. And um, so that the buyer will be aware of it, have no issues once they get it. And so forth. Then the other one is a Sony. This is a Sony. This is the VCR. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good one. I looked it up and everything. And um, it does pretty decent as well. What we're going to do here, we're going to get them all cleaned up. Fire them up, test them, see what's happening with them and so forth, and make sure that they work properly. And all I do is test the basic functions on these. Um, you know, play, rewind, fast forward, pause, stop. That's about all I do on them. I don't try to record nothing like that on them and so forth like that. And I always mention, you gotta make sure you mention whatever you tested, and um, and then you mention no further testing done after that, and that covers you. As far as they want to send it back, I know somebody spoke of um, another one of my videos of the returns and so forth that they had. Um, I get very few returns, if practically none, unless I miss something myself and posting it. But I get very few returns on these electronics because I mentioned that. What I tested, no further testing done. And so that way if they return it, it's okay. They got to repay the return shipping because um. And I mentioned that, and that covered me. Um, otherwise, you'd be paying the return shipping because you said, you know, that it worked great and everything. And they said, well, there's some part of it, and you, you, you probably didn't test it. And so, if there was price tags on this, I would clean it up, clean them off as well, and make sure the sticker residue for them was gone. And so, I think the best one out of the both both tools is the Sony. Um, so that's the one I'm gonna test first. Um, Got a little TV here, a little simple TV. I'm gonna test them on. And um, let's see if, you know, throw a VHS tape in there, see if it works properly. Okay, we got that powered up. I'm gonna plug the cord to the back here. Uh, video out, audio out. That's what we want. Uh, make sure. Sometimes I might get these all twisted up. But, okay, I think that should be good. All right, yeah. Okay, so let's power it up. All right, it comes on, no problem. Let me get VH tape real quick. All right, let's go and turn the TV on. And so all you simply want to do is to see if it does the basic functions, folks. Um, pop in the VHS. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, channel input. Okay. Let me turn this back off real quick. Turn it back on. Okay. Let me see what it does. Okay, something didn't sound right there. Oh goodness. Something sounds terrible there. I'm trying to eject the tape now. See, this is a problem that sometimes you run into. You take a gamble. Um, this might be a dud. I might have to put a repair or for pots or um, see if it do something at that point. I'm trying to give give back my tape and see if it'll chew, yeah, it'll chew it up. Okay, so that happens from time to time. Uh, you get a piece of piece of um, you get a VCR or something like that, and it chews up the tape. Uh, and that's that's not a good sign. Um, so I'm gonna try it on a gimbal again and try to put this in here again. Um, 
and see what it does. Sound, don't sound good at all. So this one right here, uh, I gotta see what it does for repair or parts. Um, yeah, it really sounds like it's beating that tape up in there. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that sound, that, that's not a good sound at all. So this one right here is no good. And, and if I put put it for repair parts, I gotta say that power's up. I mention that, and I'll just say that it, um, it eats the tape up or whatever. And hopefully, I can get something. At least get my ten dollars back if nothing else. Ah, yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay, so that tape is no good. Uh, so if it does that to a tape, you know it's no good. Okay, so that was a gamble there. Ten bucks. Uh, you know, if it had worked well, it would've been a great sale. But doesn't look like that one's gonna do stuff like that. So, and you can actually hear something in here that doesn't sound like something. Sound like something. Ah, uh, golly! Wait a minute, hold on. What we got here? This looks pretty familiar. It's like a little metal. I don't know if you can see it or not. Like a little metal piece or something that was stuck inside there. Um, that might have been my whole issue. Okay, here we go. Hope this don't chew up this tape. Sound better. sound okay so that piece of metal was that was inside of this was actually causing it to not work okay excellent picture it's working now thumbs up on that one um, now we're going to test the basic functions of it let's fast forward okay we got that's working Rewind works. Pause. Pause is working. And of course, the record we can't check. So you gotta hold the button down this one for fast forward. You gotta hold the button down for rewind. And once you release it, 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 it uh, resumes playing. Okay, so that is super awesome there, but that works. And when I get ready to take a picture of it, I'll take a picture of it with it playing the VHS tape in there as well. That's how I usually do with these. Okay, so that's great with that one. So let's go on the stop eject. So good. And I gotta, the other one I gotta just find out what's going on with that frame there. See, tape is in good condition and they ain't all chewed up and laid up. Okay. So we got that tested. We're going to sit that to the side, put that to the side. And now we're going to go in and, and get our, um, our speakers tested real quick here. So I got... Okay, so we'll get the DVD playing. Test one speaker at a time. We're gonna make sure when you're testing speakers, um, what you're looking, for, listening for, first of all, is you get some kind of sound. And in the store, I already looked at the condition of them with the grill off, and make sure that um, the speakers weren't busted or anything like that. 
Like I said, this brand right here, I'm not really familiar with, but um, it did pretty good. Uh, pretty decent for bookshelf type speakers on eBay. So I want to see what's going on uh, with it. Just going to get these wires hooked up here. All right. Just going to test this first, baby. Just fine. Great sign. I can see why they sell good. Need some vintage speakers. And like I said, I'm not familiar with this brand, but the brand is DCM um, Monitor Series Model Number CX17. So um, great, great speaker. It's got a serial number on there as well. I'll make sure I get a good picture of that in the picture and so forth. Um, but yeah, they sound awesome. Okay, that's one down. Let's go get the other one tested here. These are the ones that I paid. Um, they were $24.99. There was no discount on them today. I didn't want to take a chance of um, somebody picking them up. So I went on and got them. So the first one sounded great. So let's go and test the second one. And so forth and see what it sounds like. That one even sounds kind of good. It sounds great. Man. Okay, so beautiful sound coming from these. Um, these are beautiful designs. I don't know if you can see them or not clearly in the picture, in the video rather. But these are great. It has this one speaker right here with a, a tweeter in the, in the middle of it and stuff like that. And probably like a mid range size speaker in there. Cabin is nice and heavy, well built. Um, it, it, it got a breather hole, a big old breather hole in the back of the cabinet right here in the back and so forth. And uh, so it's awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to get these, wipe them down a little bit, get the sticker off, get the residue off the sticker and everything. They've been tested. I can put that in there. They've been testing. They work fine. Pay 25. I'm hoping to um, put them up there for about 120 free shipping. All right, so let me get this part going and I'll get back with y'all. Okay. Okay, here we go. Hope this don't chew up this tape. Sound better. Channel. See what's going on here. Why am I getting the picture? Ah, let's get some sound. Okay, so that piece of metal was that was inside of this was actually causing it to not work. Okay, the excellent picture. It's working now. Thumbs up on that one. Um, now we're gonna test the basic functions of it. Let's fast forward. Okay, we got that's working. Rewind works. Pause. Pause is working. And of course, the record we can't check. So you gotta hold the button down this one for fast forward. You gotta hold the button down for rewind. And once you release it, 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 it uh, resumes playing okay so that is super awesome there but that works and when I get ready to take a picture of it I'll take a picture of it with it playing the VHS tape in there as well that's how I usually do with these okay so that's great with that one so that's going to stop eject so good and I gotta the other one I got to find out what's going on with that frame there See, tape is in good condition and they ain't all chewed up and they done. 
Okay. So we got that tested. We're gonna sit that to the side, put that to the side. And now we're gonna go in and, and get our um our speakers tested real quick here. See I got Okay, so we'll get the DVD playing. Uh, test one speaker at a time. And we're gonna make sure when you're testing speakers, um, what you're looking, for, listening for, first of all, is you get some kind of sound. And in the store, I already looked at the condition of them with the grill off, and make sure that uh, the speakers weren't busted or anything like that. Like I said, this brand right here, I'm not really familiar with, but um, it did pretty good. Uh, pretty decent for bookshelf type speakers on eBay. So I want to see what's going on uh, with it. Let's go ahead and get these wires hooked up here. All right. Let's go and test this first, baby. Just fine. Great sign. I can see why they sell good. These some vintage speakers. And like I said, I'm not familiar with this brand, but the brand is DCM um, Monitor Series Model Number CX17. So um, great, great speaker. It's got a serial number on there as well. I'll make sure I get that good picture of that in the picture and so forth. Um, but yeah, they sound awesome. Okay, that's one down. Let's go get the other one tested here. These are the ones that I paid. Um, they were $24.99. There was no discount on them today. I didn't want to take a chance of um, somebody picking them up. So I went on and got them. So the first one sounded great. So let's go and test the second one. And so forth and see what it sounds like. That one even sounds kind of good. That sounds great. Man. Okay, so beautiful sound coming from these. Um, these are beautiful design. I don't know if you can see them or not, clearly in the picture, in the video rather. But these are great. It has this one speaker right here with a, a tweeter in the, in the middle of it and stuff like that. And probably like a mid range size speaker in there. Cabin is nice and heavy, well built. Um, it, it, it got a breather hole, a bigger breather hole in the back of the cabinet right here in the back and so forth. And uh, so, it's awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to get these, wipe them down a little bit, get the sticker off, get the residue off the sticker and everything. They've been tested. I can put that in there. They've been testing. They work fine. Pay $25. i am hoping to um, put them up there for about $120 free shipping. 